I, I, I went to school one day and my buddy says to me, uh, what, what are you doing Tuesday night? And I said, well, I don't know, I'm probably going home playing guitar. And he said, well, um, I, I've just joined the, the Cub Scouts. You want to join with me? And uh, I said, uh, not really. Um, but he said, come on, what are you going to do? You can't play guitar every night. Well, I said, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so I said, come on, come on. So I went. I got the outfit, the short, the uh, long socks, and um, oh, I look stupid. But it was, and uh, the scarf and everything, and the uh, cap. <laughs> and um, I think I tore up all those pictures, actually. Um, but um, so I go there, and I've got the uh, the jersey on, and I notice that everybody else in the uh, Cub Scout group has badges all down their arms. And so I looked at my friend who's got like three, and I said, "What are those badges, man?" And he said, "Well, I didn't say that." I said, "What? Do, what are those badges?" And um, and um, so he said, "Oh, those are proficiency badges. You do a test, and you you get you know. There's a whole list of things you can do as a as a, as a Cub Scout, you know." So I said, "Well, have you got any recommendations, easy ones?" He said, um, "I think." Well, survival is a good one. Um, and so uh, I said, sounds a bit difficult. He said, no, go to see the scout master. I'll tell you all about it. So I went there and um, uh, he said, okay, uh, Frampton, this is, um, this is what you have to do. I'm going to give you two matches and you're going to go outside. And you're going to light me uh, a, a fire. And when I come out and see that thing really burning well, he said, I'll give you a badge in front of the whole uh, outfit, you know, I said, oh, good. So I got there, but uh, bear in mind, this is England, and it's been raining for four months straight, <laughs> and, and uh, there's no chance in hell I'm going to get this thing to land. So each one just went, gone, that was it. So I came back in, very despondent, and I said to the scoutmaster, look, that just, you know, there was no chance, he said, oh, no. So, <laughs> so, uh, so I said, well, give me an easy one to start with. And, and he said, well, I've heard uh, it said that you play guitar. And I said, well, you've heard right. And uh, he said, well, do, a set, do this then. So why don't you bring your guitar next week, next Tuesday night, and um, play us a song. If we like it, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a badge, OK? I said, OK, very good, thank you. So um, next Tuesday, I come, and the only song I can play every verse all the way through is Peggy Sue by Buddy Holly. So, uh, so I, I play Peggy Sue and they gave me my badge. So anyway, there's, there's a thread here um, that takes us through, we fast forward to um, a, a couple of years ago now, and uh, the phone rings, I'll pick it up, there's this gentleman on the other end, and he says, uh, is this Pete? I said, yes, and he said, um, uh, I, I'm from the Buddy Holly Foundation, and um, we'd like to ask you if you would be, want to be involved in uh, our foundation. Basically, uh, Maria Elena Buddy Holly's widow has started this foundation to raise money for kids that can't afford lessons or instruments and stuff like that. I said, sign me up. So that was, that was fantastic. So I said, so tell me all about it. What, what do I have to do? And he said, well, look, this is the way it works. He said, we, um, uh, well, uh, Maria Elena had had different luthiers make uh, a bunch of uh, clones of, but with, which this is one of, uh, of Buddy's guitar the J45 Gibson, and um, each one is named after a song um, that Buddy wrote. And so um, he said, you pick a song and if, that you want to sing, and then we'll give you the guitar named that so you can record that song. We'll put it on an album, which they have, and we'll release it and raise money uh, for the kids. I said, fantastic. He said, what song would you like? I said, there's only one. It's the first song I ever learned and sang in public. It's Peggy Sue. He said, hmm. <laughs> there could be a problem there. I said, oh, what's that? He said, well, we've kind of, we've, we promised that one to Paul McCartney. <laughs>
saw it as a little hurt, and, um, but I said, a beetle must have everything he needs. So, you know, he's a beetle for Christ's sake. So, um, who am I <laughs> to question a beetle? Um, and uh, so I, he said, well, pick another song. So I picked It's So Easy or one of those. And uh, I, it was just, I was just honored that I was asked, you know. So a um, couple of months go by, the phone rings again, and the same guy, and he goes, uh, Pete, I have some good news. I said, first of all, I said, it's Peter. <laughs> it's Pete Townsend, Peter Frampton. They had, both have a ring to them, you know what I mean? So, um, um, but anyway, so I said, what's the good news? He said, well, we've, um, we've actually, uh, would, would you still be interested in, in, in Peggy Sue, the guitar? I said, absolutely, you know I would, absolutely. I said, well, what happened? He said, well, we, we couldn't locate Paul McCartney. <laughs> I said, that's kind of a backhanded compliment. <laughs> you can't find Paul, you give it to Pete. What happened to Mary? Was she next in line? You know, so I, I just, uh, anyway. So <laughs> um, I got Peggy Sue. This guitar is called Peggy Sue, right? I've never seen it. I'm very lucky. And uh, there's one last thing you need to know about this guitar, which is the most incredible thing. Inside this guitar is something very special, and uh, Buddy wrote all those songs in like, I don't know, a short space, very short space of time, in like four years or something. And he wore his frets out, so he had a luthier change his frets, and Maria Elena kept them. And um, uh, so what she decided to do was in each of the guitars the luthiers made, she decided to take one of the frets and put them inside and have them glue them inside the guitar. So there is one of Buddy Holly's real frets inside this guitar. And the reason I know it's there is because sometimes I stick my finger in my hole and I touch it. <laughs> Thank you. 
this I want you 